Some key safety tips are to keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. And when you do shoot, know just what you're aiming for. Over 70 animals were rescued in Preston County. I'm Brooke Burton and I'll tell you some ways to help the effort. Our award-winning WVU News starts now. Thanks, Lindsay and Angelica. Whether you own a gun to protect yourself from looters following Hurricane Sandy or you are simply packing because it's your American right, there are laws in place to owning a gun and using it safely. Are you a gun owner? I'm Brooke Burton and I'll tell you how to use it properly. Our award-winning WVU News starts now. In nearby Preston County, police entered a home to find one of the biggest cases of animal cruelty ever seen. There are around 35 animals being treated at the Preston County Animal Shelter. Once those dogs and cats regain strength, they will be available for adoption. You must be at least 21 years old to own a gun in West Virginia. For more information on firearm safety courses, visit the site at the bottom of your screen. Alcohol creates more problems when binge drinking is involved. Binge drinking is considered four or more drinks for women and five or more drinks for men. So think about that next time you're filling up at the bar. I recently traveled to Preston County to find out just what happened and the community's reaction. Our consumer reporter Brooke Burton joins us now in the studio and has more on what people are doing to protect themselves. Brooke? Thanks, Lindsay and Angelica. Whether you own a gun to protect yourself from looters following Hurricane Sandy or you are simply packing because it's your American right, there are laws in place to owning a gun and using it safely. Nearly 17 million American women own guns, and many are keeping the weapon on them 24-7, shopping, exercising, even driving. Mary Brown says she recently got a gun for protection. I just thought it was necessary because I'm a girl and I'm by myself a lot, and I'd like to be able to know how to protect myself and know that I'm safe when I go places. Monongalia County Chief Deputy Adkins says to keep the weapon on you at any time, one must obtain a concealed carry permit. Um, we'll do a background check. They have to go through a, a firearm safety course and uh, make sure that they're able to use the weapon. According to officials, there are over 16,000 accidental shootings in the U.S. per year. So, the most important thing to know if you own a gun is how to use it properly. Some key safety tips are to keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. And when you do shoot, know just what you're aiming for. Owning a gun is a big responsibility, but it's one a lot of women want. A concealed carry permit will cost you around $100. You must be at least 21 years old to own a gun in West Virginia. For more information on firearm safety courses, visit the site at the bottom of your screen. WVU News reporter Brooke Burton is in the studio to tell us how this recently hit close to home. Brooke? Thanks, Lindsay and Angelica. In nearby Preston County, police entered a home to find one of the biggest cases of animal cruelty ever seen. In fact, animals were eating each other's vomit just to survive. Of the 70 animals taken out of the inhumane conditions, the remaining 12 cats and 10 dogs have been put up for adoption, but still do not have a place to call home. I recently traveled to Preston County to find out just what happened and the community's reaction. Four residents of Preston County were arrested after authorities rescued more than 70 abused animals at a home in Rouseburg. 29 dogs, 14 cats, 5 guinea pigs, 2 potbelly pigs, 20 chickens, and a goat were among the malnourished animals. I think it's horrible when people abuse animals just because they're so helpless and defenseless, and I think they're so sweet. WVU News repeatedly tried to reach the Preston County Animal Shelter Manager, Courtney Austin, but she was unavailable for comment due to legal issues with the prosecuting attorney. Deputies reported the animals were underfed, some without any food or water, while some were living on piles of garbage and feces. I've seen a bunch of them that are really malnourished. They didn't have enough water. They're dehydrated. You know, they're super underweight. And it just really breaks my heart to see because these animals are like family. And I just don't understand how somebody could do that. Richard Motes, Tanya Motes, Terry Bennett, and George Motes have each been charged with 68 counts of animal cruelty. 
they face six months to a year in prison on each count if convicted. There are around 35 animals being treated at the Preston County Animal Shelter. Once those dogs and cats regain strength, they will be available for adoption. The accused told authorities two animals died from fighting each other. All animals were seized from the property and all four people are being held at the Tigert Valley Regional Jail. Donation for the abused animals are needed to help pay for medical costs. You can contribute to the Cheat Lake Animal Hospital for the Preston County Animal Shelter Fund by calling the number at the bottom of your screen. Student housing areas like this one may seem peaceful during the day, but things can get rowdy at night. Sunnyside resident Kylie Sanders was almost involved in a fight walking down the street, and it was completely unexpected. Yeah, one time this summer I was down on Grant Street, and we were just walking down the street, my friends and I going somewhere, and a massive fight broke out. And we had to jump up on someone's porch because we thought we were going to get hit by everybody because it just turned into a big brawl. It's crazy. People were throwing chairs and whipping out baseball bats. A recent attack on Grant Avenue made residents and student housing areas feel unsafe, but Morgantown police say that specific incident was not a random act of violence. The recent incidents were kind of isolated to, to a personal incident. Um, obviously, anywhere that you live, you need to take steps to, you know, for your own safety. Sometimes incidents involve only a couple people or an entire block party like the one Sanders witnessed. So it's important to think about safety. Something to remember is don't go alone. But if you must go alone, invest in some pepper spray. And there's a new app you can get on your smartphone called MyForce that works exactly like the emergency phones on campus. According to Sergeant Hennessy, currently the most common crime happening in Sunnyside are underage drinking citations. But if you do witness or get involved in a fight, notify police immediately. Brooke Burton, WVU News, Morgantown. 67% of adults drink alcohol in the U.S. Whether you're a heavy drinker or not, many people encounter a hangover at some point after a night of drinking. Although there's no actual cure for a hangover, there are some ways to help your body recover. I eat a lot of food. I will take ibuprofen. Well, most of the time I just pop a few Advil, but things that I usually find a little helpful, I go to Tudors a lot and I just eat like biscuits and stuff like that. Sleep it off or drink a lot of coffee. A lot of these methods sometimes work, but if they don't, it's good to keep in mind some healthy foods and drinks to replenish your body. Nettie Freshour says drinks with electrolytes are key to rehydrate. Gatorade, Pedialyte, etc. Not only that, you can also make sure that you have food on your stomach to help kind of blunt the effects of that alcohol as well. For some, natural remedies may be the way to go. Green tea, coconut water, and coffee may take care of that hangover, or you could try an old wives' tale and have a Bloody Mary. Some people swear by these remedies, but remember, if you need something to get rid of a headache, go for an ibuprofen such as Advil instead of an acetaminophen like Tylenol, because it can be toxic to your liver after drinking. Brooke Burton, WVU News, Morgantown.